Hi there, my name is Chris, sales manager for Sony Vision in Bolton, and we're looking at two models today from Panasonic, the TXL19E3B and the TXL24E3B. So two screen sizes there, 19 and 24 inch. The model we're showing here is the 24 inch version, with the same specification on both models. Well, what have we got? Well, first of all, they are using the LED technology. So they are LCD screens with LED lighting, giving you extremely bright images with extremely high contrast level. Because the contrast is so high, you're achieving really good black levels, so that gives you good natural color palette, great depth of field, and good detail in the darker areas of the panel as well. They are also full HD. Look over 720p, 1080i, or 1080p resolution. And they've also got the latest HD tuners built into them. So no longer do you need satellite or cable to receive high definition. Even on this uh, small screen size, you can get BBC, ITV and Channel 4 in high definition from your standard TV aerial. They also use Panasonic's IPS Alpha panel, meaning that you can view this TV from any angle at all without any fade or cut off in picture quality. A lot of LCD panels, basically, when you are viewing at an angle, the picture can almost turn to a negative, but not on this one. You can view it from any angle at all without any fade in picture performance. On the back of the TV, first of all, your wall fitting. Um, it takes basically a Visa 100 fitting, which is 100mm by 100mm. Coming down from there, you've got an Ethernet port, which is just uh, used for any uh, future software updates. Then you've got the aerial socket, your coaxial socket for your Freeview HD tuner. And to the side of that, you've got a D-sub, uh, which is a PC input. Up from there, you've got two HDMI sockets, of which HDMI 2 is wired for ARC, which is audio return control. So if you've got an external audio video amplifier, which has uh, HDMI as that facility, you can take the sound from this TV just using the HDMI. There's no need for any other external audio connection. But you have got digital optical out, so you can feed the sound out to this uh, via the optical socket if you wish to do so. And you've also got analog audio out as well, so you've got all three options. You've then got component input, and you've also got composite video, and then you've got the audio input for those sockets as well. A lot of games console use component uh, or composite video, such as um, Wii games consoles, but you've got those sockets as well. To the side of that, you've got a single SCART on the rear, which is also wired for RGB. It's a fully wired SCART. On the side of the TV, you've got your common interface slot uh, for any pay-per-view material. You've then got an SD card reader, so if you have got a digital steel camera, it takes SD card, put your card inside of the TV. You can have your photographs showing on screen. Then just underneath there, you've then got a headphone socket as well. So let's have a look at uh, some of the menu facilities uh, on this TV set. First of all, that's the remote control you get with the TV, which I'll give you a close-up of in just a moment. On this TV set, basically you've got a, a button on here which says Menu. Uh, if we press the menu button, it will put three menus up on the screen, which will be picture, sound, and setup. The one that's highlighted there is in yellow. If we press OK in the center of the remote control, it will access the picture settings for us. So on there now, you've got normal. These are preset modes from the manufacturer, which will change from normal to cinema, true cinema, and to dynamic. So you've got various preset modes there from the manufacturer, which alter the contrast color and brightness to a predetermined level. But you can go into any one of those settings and adjust accordingly. So we can drop down from there, say, into the brightness or the color or the sharpness, any one of those. And if you want to adjust the color, just highlight it in yellow. Press OK, which is in the center here. And then you can alter by just moving right or left on the keypad the color accordingly. And the same if you want to adjust, say, the contrast, just press OK and adjust accordingly for the contrast as well. As we come down that scale, you've got further adjustments there. Uh, for sharpness, and you've also got Panasonic's CAT system. Now, Panasonic's CAT system, basically what that does, it's an automated adjustment for the contrast. It'll keep the contrast at optimum performance for you. At the bottom of the TV here, there's a little photo cell, which will constantly measure the ambient light of the room and adjust the picture accordingly. So if we switch that on, I said it will make slight adjustments to the picture to always keep it at optimum contrast performance for you as well. If we come out of that menu, we'll have a quick look at the sound facilities on here. If we go into the sound menu, you've got adjustments for music or speech, which give you access to then altering the bass or treble adjustments on there. We've also got a further one, which is the user menu. If you select user menu, it gives you access there, not just to bass or treble, but to a graphic equalizer. So what you can do then is adjust the bass at that end of the scale down there. As you come further down that scale, you've got all the mid-tone adjustments where the vocals tend to be, so you can bring out vocals more. And then you've got the high frequencies for the treble as well. So it gives you a lot more variation over the tone of the TV set. 
You've then got adjustments for surround off or V audio and V audio surround will attempt to throw the sound out and around you as well. So you've got a lot of adjustments there, not just in picture, but also in sound. For a small screen TV, sort of 19 and 24 inch, you've got a fantastic array of sockets on here and a really comprehensive menu for adjusting things like picture and sound as well. And it has got great sound quality on here for a small TV. If you'd like more details on this range, please give me a call. My name is Chris on 01204 861 861. Or if you're in the Bolton region, please call into our store. These products you will find there on permanent demonstration. If you go through to our website, which is soundinvision.co.uk, you will find hundreds of video clips on there, not just on sort of LED TV, but also on plasma, LCD, home theatre systems, speakers, amplifiers. There are hundreds of video clips on there just to give you a brief insight into the product itself. Also, if you'd like any more details, please give me a call. My name is Chris on 01204 861 861. Thank you.